Khardung La or Khardung Pass is a mountain pass in Ladakh region of Indian state of Jammu and Kashmir. The local pronunciation is Khardong La or Khardong La. But as with most names in Ladakh, the romanized spelling varies. The pass of Ladakh range is north of Leh and is the gateway of Shok and Nubra valleys. The Siachen Glacier lies part way up the latter valley, but in 1976 it was opened to public motor vehicles in 1988. Maintained by the Border Roads Organization BRO, the pass is strategically important to India as it is used to carry supplies to Siachen Glacier. Today, it is two-way road. Though motorable road came late, it has long been navigated by traders. A caravan of about 10,000 horses and camels navigated this road annually on their way to Kashgar in Central Asia. The pass is strategically important because of the tense Indochina relation. Khardungla Pass, being the highest motorable road, is questionable. Well-built roads have been known to exist at higher altitudes in India and Tibet, namely Mana Pass, which is 5,454 meters, Semola, which is 5,565 meter, Suji La, which is 5,430 meters, etc. Perhaps Khardungla Pass has an advantage because it is open year-round. The pass has an Indian army post and a temple. Travelers often stop to have their photo taken along with signboard that proclaims Khardungla Pass to be the highest motorable pass in the world. The pass cuts through the mountain peak and so it offers amazing view of Leh and mountains surrounding the valley. Before entering the pass, we stopped at two check posts. All tourists need a travel permit to enter Nubra Valley, as in the case of other places while traveling in Ladakh. The zone is prone to heavy mist and can be dangerous in low visibility conditions. Do not travel this pass in severe weather conditions. Avalanches, heavy snowfalls and landslides can occur anytime, being extremely dangerous due to frequent patches of ice. It has well deserved reputation for being dangerous because of unpredictable snowstorms and blizzards and driving under these conditions can be extremely challenging. The road is primarily loose rock, dirt and usually covered in snow. Nubra It is a tri-armed valley located to the northeast of Ladakh Valley. Diskit, the headquarter of eponymous subdivision and also the Nubra Tehsil is about 150 km north from Leh town, the capital of Ladakh district, Jammu and Kashmir, India. Local scholars say that its original name was Ladumbra, the valley of flowers. The Shiok river meets the Nubra or Siachin river to form a large valley that separates the Ladakh and Karakoram ranges. The Shiok River is a tributary to Indus River. The average altitude of the valley is about 10,000 feet, that is 3,048 meters above sea level. The common way to access this valley is to travel over Khardungla Pass from Leh town. The deep cut Shiok and Nubra River valleys offer tremendous scenery on a grand scale with green oasis villages surrounded by thrilling slopes and harsh arid mountains along the white sand desert. Siachen Glacier lies to the north of the valley. The Sazer Pass and the famous Karakoram Pass lie to the northwest of the valley and connect Nubra with Igor or Xinjiang. Previously, there was much trade passing through the area with the Western China's Xinjiang and Central Asia. The people of Baltistan also used the Nubra Valley for passage to Tibet. Diskit is a village and headquarter of Diskit Nubra Tehsil and Nubra subdivision 
in the Leh district of Jammu and Kashmir, India. Diskit Monastery, also known as Diskit Gompa, is the oldest and largest Buddhist monastery in the Nubra Valley of Ladakh, northern India. The Diskit Monastery is situated on the hill just above the floodplains of Shiok River on its right bank in the Diskit village in Nubra Valley. Since the valley is at the lower elevation, it has mild climate. This climatic condition has created lush vegetation in the valley and the valley is therefore called the Orchard of Ladakh. The village is approachable from Leh by road via the Khardung Pass. The traffic of this road may be disrupted between October and May due to snowfall and landslides. Diskit is populated by Gelukpa or Yellow Hat sect of Tibetan Buddhism. It was founded by Changzem Serab Zangpo, a disciple of Sikong Khapa, founder of Gelukpa in the 14th century. It is a sub-gompa of the Thiksi Gompa. The Fotong or official residence of Chief Lama of Nubra is located at the foothill where there is also very large statue of Jampa Buddha. This impressive 32 meter statue on the top of hill below the monastery faces down the Shiok river towards Pakistan and is believed to protect the locals from enemy. Hundar is a village in Leh district of Jammu and Kashmir famous for sand dune and Bactrian camel. It is located in the Nubra Tehsil of the bank of Sheok river. It was once the capital of former Nubra kingdom. There are several ruined buildings including the ruins of the king's palace, the Lanshan Khar or the elephant palace. There is a fort at the top of the hill called Gula. Hundar also has two Buddhist temples, white temple Lakhang Karpo and the Red Temple Lakhang Marpo. Between Hundar and Diskit lie the white sand dunes. Lost in greenery and closely backed by soaring valley cliffs, it is coated at an altitude of about 4000 meters. The desert is cut across by a gentle stream and the beautiful countryside. With such stunning landscape against the backdrop of snow-clad mountains, the Hundar sand dune looks nothing less than fairy world. Hundar lies on the ancient Silk Route, once an important international trade route. Hundar is most popular for the camel rides in high altitude cold desert. The camel safaris are done on Bactrian double humped camels, which are a reminder the bygone era of Silk Route trade. The common cost is 200 INR for 15 minute ride. The vast stretch of sand dunes between Hundar village and Diskit is where you once see the Bactrian camel grazing in sea buckthorn forests. Earlier, Hundar village was the last point where visitors were allowed after obtaining inner line permits from DC office in Leh. Since 2010, the Indians were allowed to travel further to Turtuk. In 2013, even foreigners were allowed to travel up to Turtuk. From 2014, Indian visitors no longer require inner line permits to travel to Nubra Valley anymore. Thoisi is a military airfield and small village in Nubra Valley, Jammu and Kashmir, India. Occupying the large piece of flatland in the area, the airstrip is a critical facility enabling a quick flow of men and material from the Indian mainland to Siachin Glacier, Helipad and battleground near the actual ground position line between India and Pakistan. Thoisi is not a real name but an acronym, Transit Halt of Indian Soldiers en route, Siachin. It is out of the bounds for civilians. The last check post is at Hundar, at a bridge where photography is not permitted. Indian Oil Corporation Limited is making an oil depot to serve the Indian Army. The construction project is in progress and is monitored from Chandigarh.
Turtuk, the headquarter of eponymous block, is one of the northmost village of India situated in Leh district of Jammu and Kashmir. It is only Balti region under the Indian administration and was under Pakistani's control until 1971, after which India gained control over the strategic area. Geographically, Turtuk lies in Baltistan region and is one among four such villages in India, the other three being Tyakshi, Chalunkha and Thang. The residents of Turtuk and its adjoining villages speak Balti language along with Ladakhi and Urdu. Turtuk is the last outpost of India at Thang after which Pakistan controlled Gilgit Baltistan begins. Turtuk was opened to tourists in 2010. Though a Muslim village, there are few gompas located on the plateau above the Shiok River and there is old royal house to see in the village. Turtuk is one of the few places in India where one can witness Balti culture and one can find few homestays and guest houses in the village. It is the last major village where tourist activity is allowed before the line of control. The mixed backgrounds of Turtuk's villagers, who are of Tibetan and Indo-Aryan descent, speak to Baltistan's once important role as a connector of goods, cultures and people. Thang is the northmost village of India as an Indian Army proclamation states there on the banks of Shiok. The village lies a few kilometers beyond Turtuk and you cross Tyakshi village to get to this point. To go beyond Turtuk, one need permission from the army to visit the village where the army board states you are under enemy surveillance. The mountain heights on the right of Shiok are all territory in Pakistani control. One can see a fence which denotes the LOC and 100 meters on each side are no man's land. The best part is that a gentleman over there gives a guided tour and shows the area like the fence, Indian Army bunker, Pakistan Army bunker, Pakistani flag on the peak as they dominate the heights. Quite revealing and the best part is that one is allowed to take pictures and videos authorized by Indian Army. Going to Thang village is not allowed except for locals. From Thang, one can see the village of Franu across the LOC and nothing separates this village from the other side besides certain landmines. The green patch in the distance at the bottom of mountains is the first village, Franu on the other side. The adjoining border twin village Tyakshi and Pashathang are located along Shiok River with population about 120 Balti speaking people. It was liberated by India on 16th December 1971. Agriculture is the mainstay of the area along with horticulture. Barley and fruits such as apricots, apple, cherry and walnut are the best revenue generating produce of the area. The Akshi village has the school constructed by Pakistan and run by India since 1973. Panamik is a beautiful scenic village in the Nubra Valley and famous for its hot spring. The hot water springs of Panamik are enriched with high amount of sulfur. A dip in the sulfur hot springs is believed to cure various health ailments. Owing to the health benefits of these hot springs, the Panamik village is visited daily by the people from neighboring villages. The village of Panamik is also famous for its Kashmiri and Tibetan artifacts, Kashmiri carpet, pashmina shawls and woolen socks.
The Nubra Valley is amongst the richest repository of Ladakh's ancient archaeological and rock art heritage, which reflects ancient trade and religious routes that passed through it, particularly those went across the Sazerla and Karakoram Pass en route to Yarkand. There are approximately 25 known rock art sites in Nubra area, with the majority of them along the Nubra River and in proximity to its confluence with Shiok River. Sazoma is a village about 15 km north of the village of Panamik and also the site of military camp that regulates entry to the Siachen Glacier. A variety of mascoids carved on single boulder near Sazoma military camp can be observed alongside the road of Siachen. Wild goats, wild sheep and onagers or wild horses on a boulder can be observed at the site that is yet to grab attention of travelers. The anthropomorphic figures with large hands gesturing upwards from Kimi and Sazoma belong to the Bronze Age into the Nubra Valley. Petroglyphs in Ladakh have been studied by quite a few foreign scholars but none acted towards conservation of these geosites. The need of the hour is to take necessary steps towards its geoconservation.